Here's another five shows you may have missed or forgotten about. The Threshold. The Threshold was about a government crisis management team that comes up with contingency plans for various scenarios such as nuclear war or natural disaster. One such plan is called Threshold, which is the code name for the scenario involving the first contact with an alien race, something they think they would never need to use. So naturally, a Navy vessel encounters a UFO somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean, which leaves numerous crew members dead. The Threshold Protocol is enacted, and the team of experts go to the ship to investigate. This series premiered on September 16, 2005 on CBS. Part X-Files, part CSI, and part Outbreak all mixed together to make for a show that was intended to appeal to all of those audiences. The team discovers the aliens are rewriting our DNA to eradicate the human race by making us more like the aliens. It's unclear as to why they're doing this, and most likely would have been explained in later episodes, but the show never made it that far. The series had a really great cast. Carla Gugino, Brent Spiner, Charles S. Dutton, Brian Van Holt, and a pre-Game of Thrones Peter Dinklage. Shortly before the show was cancelled, they added Catherine Bell as a new cast member, but after her episode underperformed, they finished out the last two episodes, only giving her character a mention. After finding out the show was being cancelled, the writer, Brandon Braga, rewrote the ending for what would have been the season finale, changed to the series finale. It was changed to leave the show on a very depressing note. An alien tells the team leader, Molly, that they're going to succeed in their goal within a decade. Also, that she was going to die somewhere before then. The show had similarities to Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's possible one of the things that led to its cancellation was that there was another Body Snatcher show, Invasion, which was on roughly around the same time, that not only was more expensive, but was also underperforming. Threshold was written to cover three seasons. Season 1, Threshold, with the aliens arriving on Earth. Season 2, Foothold with the aliens further infiltrating Earth, and Season 3, Stranglehold, where the aliens actually take over the Earth. While the show was receiving good reviews, the actual views weren't high enough to offset its enormous budget. The series ran for one season with 13 episodes. The show was canceled and the last episode aired on February 1st, 2006. The show did run on the CBS website for a while and was syndicated to dozens of other channels around the world. The series was released on DVD and is currently still in print. Invasion Invasion's about an invasion of aliens that manages to infiltrate a small Florida town after a hurricane. Insert your own Florida Man memes. The aliens are a water-based life form, and they manage to sneakily take over the bodies of the townsfolk, essentially by cloning them. While the show is obviously similar to Invasion of the Body Snatchers, it somehow wasn't considered a remake or a reboot. Invasion premiered on September 21st, 2005. The timing was a major problem. The show revolved around the hurricane, the aftermath, and how the aliens were able to use the hurricane as a smokescreen for their invasion. Unfortunately, very shortly before the show's premiere, Hurricane Katrina made landfall in late August of 2005. Hurricane Katrina was a huge disaster, and the network had to scrap their marketing they had for the series. They retold the marketing and toned down the aspects of the hurricane while trying to play up more of the alien invasion angle. The focus of the show was also slightly shifted away from using too much hurricane footage as to not be seen as insensitive. They opened each episode with a warning about how the hurricane footage might be traumatic to some people. The show had a huge lead-in, airing after the insanely popular show Lost. It had 17 million viewers for the first episode, but consistently dropped each week after that. The show was a critical darling, often being cited as one of the best new shows of the season, and later, as ratings declined, the best show you aren't watching. This was largely due to the cast, with commanding performances by William Fickner and some very sharp writing. Stephen King praised the show, it was nominated for Best Network TV Series and Best Actor for William Fickner. None of that mattered because the studio wanted lost numbers. The series ran for one season with 22 episodes. The last one aired on May 17, 2006. The show also suffered from something beyond the ratings, and that was a panicky studio. During its time, the show was placed on hiatus not once, but twice. In March, the second time it was put on hiatus, 
it was replaced by the show The Evidence in its time slot. This made most people think it was canceled. The series returned after The Evidence started getting worse ratings than Invasion. Sean Cassidy, the showrunner, blamed its cancellation on the unrealistic expectations for the ratings of the show following Lost. Their ratings were good, but the network wanted great. Although they learned an expensive lesson because out of all the other shows that followed Lost, none of them were able to achieve the numbers as high as Invasion. The show was released on DVD, and it's still in print. The entire series is also available to stream on Tubi. Surface Surface was about an oceanographer who discovers unknown life forms escaping from a crater at the bottom of the ocean. While trying to research what's going on, all sorts of extinction-level events begin to occur all over the world. The show premiered on September 19, 2005. In an odd move, the show had an immediate syndication deal with the Sci-Fi Channel, so the show would air on NBC, and then shortly thereafter would run on the Sci-Fi Channel. Sometimes it aired simultaneously. To my knowledge, this is the first time a show this large has ever tried to do this. The series focused on different conspiracy-style ideas that might be what was responsible for the aliens. Everything from genetic engineering to cloning. It was hinted at, but they never said with 100% certainty the origin of the aliens, with the reveal perhaps coming in a later season, but that never happened. This series ran for 10 episodes when it was put on hold in November. They came back in January to run the last five episodes. They tried to spice it up by finding reasons to get Lake Bell in her underpants, but it didn't help. After the last episode aired, the fate of the show was in flux for a few months until they officially announced its cancellation. Surface ran for one season with 15 episodes. The show was canceled and the last episode aired on February 6, 2006. I'm not sure if the showrunners knew the end was coming, but the finale, while it was still a cliffhanger, was more of a... This is the end of the world as we know it. For the last two episodes, a giant tsunami is coming. For the finale, the heroes of the show go to the highest point they can find and watch as the world is flooded. It's a pretty bleak ending, and I'm not sure how they intended on continuing after this. The show did get a DVD release in 2006, and it's still in print. The show is also available to buy on Amazon's Video On Demand, but I don't see it streaming anywhere else. On a side note... The friendly alien Nimrod was awesome and was sort of like an otter that was also an alien. Prey. Not to be confused with the overlooked Prey from 2006, this is Prey from 1998. The show is about anthropologist Dr. Sloan Parker, played by Deborah Messing. She's researching genetic anomalies in humans and stumbles upon a revelation that sociopaths all have certain genetic markers, proving they're not 100% human. She joins with a team of fellow scientists and discovers a new species they call Homo Dominant, which has been breeding with humans. This creates a species that is capable of committing acts of unspeakable evil. The Dominants also have superhuman abilities like telepathy and ESP. The team discovers that not all Dominants are evil, and some want to coexist peacefully with humans. The show premiered on January 15, 1998 on NBC. The sitcom Ned and Stacy just ended, which was Deborah Messing's breakout role. This helped her to land the major role on one of the other big networks. This was another show with a great cast. Larry Drake, Frankie Faison, Vincent Ventresca, and James Morrison. Prey was an interesting concept for a series that never had a chance to really reach its audience. The series was picked up as a replacement for Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, and perhaps the audience for that time slot weren't really in the mood for something so serious. The last episode was Deliverance Part 1, and naturally Deliverance Part 2 is going to be the start of Season 2, but the show was cancelled before that. The series ran for 13 episodes, with the last one airing on July 9th, 1998. I just landed a copy of the unaired original pilot, which had a different lead actress and was directed by Toby Hooper. I'll talk about that in a future episode, discussing unaired pilots. The show is never released on DVD, it's not available to stream, but the whole series is on YouTube. Lightning Point Lightning Point was a teen drama with supernatural elements. It was produced in Australia in association with Nickelodeon. The show ran on Network 10 in Australia and on Teen Nick in the US. Don't recognize the name? It was rebranded as Alien Surf Girls for the US market. 
The show premiered on June 22, 2012. Lightning Point was about two alien girls, Zoe and Kiki. They escaped from their home planet of Lumina and moved to the small Australian seaside town of Lightning Point. The shows like Roswell, H2O, and Sweet Valley High all mixed together. Like the alternate title suggests, the alien girls learn how to surf and, of course, they're great at it. This sparks up the usual teen drama with the local surf hero, Brandon, falling for the alien Zoe, which irritates his overbearing girlfriend, Madison, the self-proclaimed hottest girl on Lightning Point. The show ran for one season with 26 episodes. Due to low ratings, the show was canceled on November 12, 2012. The series ended up being syndicated all over the world, running well into 2018. The series was re-edited into a movie, taking all the main story arcs and compiling them together for a big feature-length finale, which was broadcast in February of 2013. The show is released on DVD, but it's out of print. It looks like the entire season's on YouTube in very good quality. It's also available to purchase for streaming on Amazon. Well, that's another five shows. Yes, I know I didn't talk about the Alien Invasion show First Wave. I'm saving that for an episode on shows specific to the Sci-Fi Channel. Lots more forgotten stuff coming soon. Stay tuned. Sounds good. You have money? <laughs>